Okay guys, in the last video we did an overview of the Binance web platform. In this video we're doing an overview of the Binance app. But I suggest you go and watch the web platform video if you have not done so to get a more comprehensive understanding of the Binance platform. So let's get to it. To get started, you have to download the Binance app either from the Google Play Store or from the Apple Store, then log in. Of course, you must have registered an account. If you have not done so, there's a link in the description. Make sure to use that link to sign up. Now, once you have logged on, this is what you're going to see on the Binance app. It is really easy to navigate. If you look at the bottom menu, we have home, market, trade, futures, and wallets. So it's really simple. The wallet is where you fund your account, either with your local currency, Naira, or any other currency, or even in cryptos. Then the market is where you look for the markets you want to trade. The trade is where you conduct the trade if you are trading sports. And futures is where you conduct the trade if you're trading futures. Then home is where you see every other thing. And from the home, you can actually navigate to these other parts. They kind of link in some ways but the menu just help you to navigate to each one really really fast so i'll go ahead and explain the home page which is what we are on now so if you look at the top row we have a human icon the search the scanner and the notification let's start with the human icon when we click on it so it gives us an option to personalize our experience using the Binance app. Apart from your name, you can choose if you want it to be a dark team by clicking here. And when you click again, it becomes a light team. Then you can click on this headphone to contact the customer support if you have any issue. Then after that, the next one you have the, you can change the now the binance app has the light version and the professional version the light version removes some of the features and just make it straightforward for you to use why the pro the professional version has everything but what we're explaining is a professional version but if you want to switch the light version you just um check this it will switch to the binance light you see there's not much stuff in the home page when you switch and the menu has changed so let's go back and switch to the professional version that is what i want to explain and that is what i actually use so going back to the to that place after that after the um switching from the light version or the professional version you have free discounts i personally have this checked what this does is you get 25 percent discounts when you check this if you choose for your fees because when you trade on binance you are charged about 0.1 percent for each trade so when you check this 25 percent is taken out of your fee you pay 25 percent less but you have to have bnb which is binance coin then after that you have the tax center the reward center your referral id in case you want to invite people to trade on binance you can use your referral center and every other thing you can log out from here and you can actually um, click on this one by one to know what they do. So that is that on that. And the scanner, there, there might be some times you might need to connect the web version to the app to do some things. You use the scanner and the notification, which is the power icon, shows you notifications personalized to you on Binance. So after that, you have the banner, which is still the not notification center. You see upcoming events just the way we saw on the web platform that is the banners then after that you have the notification in text so if i click on these three lines here it's going to bring out everything so that is a notification then the next section is what we call the common functions so you have deposit referral battle margin launch pad so you see that from clicking the human icon top there we can get to the referral and we can also get to the referral here. If I click on more here, 
It's showing me every other thing under the common functions. And most of them are actually in other parts. So this is a collection of all the common functions brought in one place. Then that after that is um, deposit NGNG P2P trading. These are also in the common function, but they're actually bringing it, up, bringing it out again so you can easily navigate to those section. And after that, we have the um, B, BNB to USDT pair, BTC to US. So these are some coin that Binance brings out for you. I think you can actually customize this, but I've not actually bothered myself with that. Then earn, when we were talking about the, the when, we were talking, when we were discussing the web platform, I told you you can actually stake your coin on Binance and earn interest on them. So this is how to also easily navigate to it. And I believe you can actually also find this in the common function. Then after that, you have the ranking list. Mind you, we are still on the home page. So the ranking list, you can see the cryptocurrencies that performed the, that performed the best in the last 24 hours. You see, Dodge is doing really good, 229% in the last 24 hours. And so the, it is arranged in the hierarchy from the best performing to the least performing. So this is also, this is for its gainers. Then if you click on the next tab, it shows you the top losers, which cryptocurrencies perform the worst in the last 24 hours. And click on the next, which is having the highest um, trade volume in the past 24 hours. So that is that on the homepage. After the homepage, we'll go to the markets. The market is where you find all the markets you want to trade, like all the markets available on the Binance platform. Here we have the sports and um, futures and zone. Now on, we are still on the sports and you can see um, favorites. These are coins that I've actually marked to be my favorites. I actually mark some of them in the web platform. Then after that, you see the BNB market. Let me click on it. So these are the cryptocurrency paired against the BNB. You want to trade BNB against any coin, just click on that and look for the coin. Or this is coin paired against BTC. This is paired against other outs, Ethereum, Tronix, Ripple. This is paired against Fiat, EFT, and the rest of it. Then the same thing goes with, with futures. We have um, futures margin, futures USD, T margin, then coin um, futures, then the zone. This is just exactly what we discussed in the app. So the zone is showing you all the coins listed in the Binance platform. And you can see they are, they are actually, you can, this is all zone, showing you, showing you how they are categorized, proof of work, um, DeFi, POS, storage, innovations. When you click on anyone, it will show you all the coin in that category. So that is that for some. Let's go back to sports. And you don't have to click on a particular um, pair and start look, looking for it one by one, one by one. There's a search bar here. I can actually search the cryptocurrency I want from the search bar. Example, GRT. I can just see here. Yeah. So these are the, all the GRT pairs. And if I'm, I'm interested in trading, say GRT, BTC, I can actually star it so that I can see it in my favorites. So let's go back to favorites. If I go back to this favorite, and yeah, so I now have GRT and BTC, so I can easily trade it from here. So the market is where you find all the cryptocurrency pairs and the cryptocurrency listed individuals individually in the on the Binance platform. Then say I want to trade a particular coin. So, so I want to trade GRT, BTC. I just click on it and it will take me to trade. And let me go back. So the next um, item on the menu or the next menu is the trade. So if I click on a coin here, it's taking me to trade. If I click on trade itself, at the bottom menu, it's showing me the last cryptocurrency I have actually um, traded. So this is Lumen XLM USDT. And 
I can conduct my trade here. I'll come back to that. So let us look at the menu of the trade. You have convert, like we saw in the web platform. You can swap one coin for another. You now have sports, margin, fiat. You have fiat. So you can easily buy um, cryptocurrency directly with your card or bank deposit. Then you have P2P, where you trade with directly with other persons through the Binance platform. So this is basically how trade works. So I can use any of the order to trade here, limit order, market order, stop limit order, and OCO, and OCO order. I will explain this in detail when I, talk, when I explain the trade room in full. I will explain to you, I will tell you what um, these order types, what they are and how we use them. So this is buy, this is sell, and this is the order book here. The order book, you can see how the market is moving and and all that. If I want to see the charts, I just click on this chart here. It shows me the charts and I can choose to set an alarm here and set an alarm to be notified when the, part, the cryptocurrency does a particular thing. So that is that on trade. Like I said, you can get if, if you don't want to trade this cryptocurrency pair on trade, you can actually click on it and it will slide out the or slide in the the market um, menu again so from here i can search for the coin i want to trade say i want to trade mana mana against usdt so this chart is going to change to the mana chart so this has loaded so i can actually trade mana from here so the same just the way the trade functions, the same thing with the next menu, which is futures. So futures is um, just the way I conduct trades on on trades, like the sports right now. So trade is actually the sports, why trade is actually trading on sports, why futures is trading on futures. So it's also the same thing. When we get to the futures video, I will explain futures in detail mind you this is still the binance binance video series on this channel this is the second video where we are breaking down the app we'll get into all this in detail we're going to keep this video as short and concise as possible the next on the menu is the wallet so when i click on wallet it loads my wallet just the way it showed me on the web platform i have the overview then sports margin futures p2p and pool and all that everything is also available in the in the web platform i can i can i can see my balance here i can choose to hide it if i click here i can see a breakdown of the balances i have in my in my spot wallets and margin and all that so from here, I can deposit Naira if I want to deposit Naira and all that. So in the next video, this is, this is basically it on how to navigate the Binance platform. So I know the next question, the next question you might be asking now is, okay, fine. So how do I place a trade on the platform? How do I buy, say, Bitcoin or Ethereum or Mana or any of this coin on the platform? In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can do that at the lowest fee. So I will see you in the next video.